Hi, I'm Sam Thurgood and welcome to my Two Minutes Parasha. In this week's Sidra of a Mitzorah, we read about the house with Tzara'at, the house which gets some kind of problem, some kind of disease which needs to be investigated, and if necessary, entire walls or even the entire house is destroyed. The Gomorrah says something very interesting about this. It says, according to one opinion, there never was such a house. It never existed. There never was a house with Tzara'at in it. So then, what is the purpose of teaching us this? Drosh v'kabel schar, to learn it and receive reward. Rabbi Soloveitchik says that we sometimes tend to appreciate Torah and Judaism only in terms of its practical application. I want to learn because it's going to help me to relate to Hashem, it's going to help me to be a better person, it's going to help me to uh, understand uh, various aspects of my life more deeply and put that into practice. Those are all correct and valuable. But there is also, and there should be also, an appreciation for abstract Torah, for the wisdom of Hashem even when it does not relate to our everyday life. In the same way, he says, as a professor of mathematics, is not only interested in coming out with a better way of calculating practical things in life, but in understanding mathematics as a pure discipline, as a pure intellectual activity, in seeing the beauty in it. There is a beauty in understanding the world, even when that does not change the way in which we behave within it. Part of the challenge of the world in which we live today is that we have such an appreciation of the practical, of technology, of the way in which knowledge can become power, that we can forget that knowledge is beautiful and valuable in and of itself. How much more so when we speak about Torah? How much more so when we speak about Hashem's knowledge, that it can and should help us to develop an approach of seeing Hashem in everything, of seeing Halakha and seeing Torah, not only in what we do practically, but in understanding it for its own sake. Shabbat Shalom.